You're going to be free. <laughs> Just a moment. Would you like a cup of... Hmm? Take my soul. I'm sorry, you know what? Take my soul. I have to fu- Take my soul! Forgive me for this. You killed me 37 times. Are you gonna take my soul or what? Are you gonna take my soul? I'm going to watch you die over and over again. And I need seven human souls to be God. I will end you. The kiddo has been looking rather down today. Bingo. Hey, kid. I've got something cool to show you. Uh, my uh. is completely fine. Whoops. Okay, that could have gone better. You okay, Frisk? <laughs> Alright, good. Sans, what did you do to the human? I just taught them a new trick. Isn't the red stuff meant to stay inside them? Nah, look, they're loving it. I think you're a bad influence. More like red influence. Sans! So, my sentry is known for us, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's kinda boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door, and it's perfect for practicing knock knock jokes. So, one day I'm knocking them out, like usual. I knock on the door and say, knock knock. And suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who is there? So, I naturally respond. Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes a very bad joke. And she just howls in <laughs> laughter. Like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So, I keep them coming. And she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock knock. Who's there? Oh, lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. Well, needless to say, <laughs> this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes. Who's there? Nana? Nana who? None of your business. For hours. <laughs> and that's why I'll never use a public restroom again. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kinda cranky with all this bedtime story. But she told me to come back again. So I did. Then I did again. And again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through doors, mid rules. One day though. Who is there? A broken pencil. A broken pencil who? Never mind, it's pointless. <laughs> <sighs> I noticed she wasn't laughing as much. I asked her what was up. Then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise me something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? No, I hate making promises. And this woman... I don't even know her name, but someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has integrity you can't say no to. Do you get what I'm saying? Meanwhile, I've been knocking on the door to the ruins, but that woman hasn't been answering me. Maybe she's not feeling well. You have started an ass blog. Excitedly thinking of what your first question might be fills you with determination. I am Frisk, a human. I'm friends with a lot of monsters and currently acting as their ambassador. Don't be afraid to ask me questions. It's kind of my job to answer questions about monsters now. Also, if you have a question for someone I know, I'll bring the question to them. Frisk, a mod of this Ask blog. Congrats, human. You've started an ass blog. You've gained one follower. Thank you. Please don't be shy about asking questions. 
This blog was made to help humans understand monsters better. But if you happen to be a monster who's just very curious about me and my friends, that's fine too. Monsters are scary. Why'd you bring them up here? Ah. Uh, hmm. Because it was wrong for humans to lock them away, and they deserve freedom and happiness like anyone else. I understand why some of you might be scared of them, but I assure you, there's nothing to be afraid of. And monsters aren't scary. They're cute. I was lying for all you on the surface. It's wonderful. All of us live in this big, beautiful house. We built it brand new. Nobody had any money humans would accept when they left the underground, and a lot of humans refused to sell homes to monsters, so it's been hard. But all of us pooled our money and built this place. Now me, Mom, Sans, Papyrus, Undyne, Alphys, King Asgore, and Flowey all live here together. It's not perfect up on the surface, but I finally have a family, and that really means something. Is Sam's tutorial a thing yet, or no? Not as far as I know. But I'll ask them anyway. <laughs> oh, hey kid. How's the whole block thing going? Pretty good. One of the questions I got is about you, so I thought I'd ask you about it before jumping to any conclusions. Sure, what's the question? You gotta promise you'll give me a truthful answer. Why? Because. Please? Sheesh, kid. What kind of questions are you getting on that blog? It's only been up a couple days. Okay, sure, I'll bite. I promise to give a truthful answer to your ominous question. So, my mom. Would you kiss her and do gross mushy stuff with her if you knew she was down? Uh. Uh, note to self, stop making irresponsible promises. How's a volatile houseplant? Flowey. So, I seen you taking Flowey with you. That must be, um, an interesting living situation. It's really not as bad as you'd think. Gee, whiz, and this place is sure a dump. Which is appropriate since nothing but garbage lives here. But, you live here too, Flowey. Did I? Stutter? At least I know I'm trash. You people think you're so great. Flowey, I do not tolerate anyone using profanity in front of my child. Sorry. Flowey may not be able to feel love, but I think there's more of Azriel in him than that he pretends there is. I see glimpses of it sometimes. And I didn't bend time and space to save only most of the monsters. I'll find a way to help him love again. I'm determined to save him. Our mom's pretty intimidating, huh? Don't trust me, you little. Careful, bro. Mom might get out the soap next time. Call me bro and I'll strangle you in your sleep. Nobody else knows the truth about Flowey. They only know that he's a flower that Alphys injected with determination and that he did a lot of bad things, and that I want to help him. But someday, I'll have to tell them the truth. They deserve to know. How's Alphys and Undyne doing? How are both Undyne and Alphys on the surface? Has their relationship deepened since we last saw them? I presume Alphys and Undyne are a thing. Also, are they weebs? Undyne and Alphys are absolutely a thing. I like to think I helped in some small way. Normally I'd go and directly ask them some questions, but I can't right now because they're on vacation in Japan. But I'm pretty confident when I say they're closer than ever. Does Undyne still believe anime is real? Speaking of anime, has Alphys ever seen Jojo's Bizarre Adventure? I actually told Undyne the truth about anime. She took it as well as I could have hoped. She was really excited about the Japan trip once she learned that's where anime is made. As for Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, most of the anime that Alphys had in the underground was really old, so they have a lot to catch up on. Any anime that wasn't made in the 90s or earlier is probably one they haven't seen yet. But I've seen Jojo, and I recommended it to them a while ago. Oh, so does Metaton live with you? 
No, he has his own house nearby, but he hasn't been home because he's on tour right now. That's why I had an officer in Japan, actually. He gave them an all-expensive paid trip so that they could see him in concert there. He actually offered for us all to go, but I have school and the others have jobs. Jobs that don't give paid vacations. Do any of you share a room? Flowey and I share a room. He kind of just lives in his flower pot on a table in front of the window so he can see outside and photosynthesize and stuff. Undyne and Alphys also share a room, for obvious reasons. Have you tried asking Toriel the same thing, referring to the sans and Toriel date question? I tried a similar strategy with my mom to learn her true thoughts and feelings. Things like this are tricky. People often hide their feelings, even from themselves. So the best way to learn the truth is to catch them off guard and carefully watch their body language. Hey mom, did you know that Sans thinks you're hot? <gasps> Good news Sans, she's down. I ship it. Hey, other me. Watch this, my friend. <laughs> Watch what? Hey, Pep! Yes, Sans? Give me a hug, brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. You fucking bitch. Aha. <laughs> I wonder what Sand is doing right now. He's probably being lazy sleeping somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck, Come on, Sands? Papyrus! Just never! Oh, get it. me, you little brat! <laughs> Wowie, they need to work out some issues, don't they? Yeah, I agree. At least we're better than them. Definitely. for being my tutorial. <laughs> what a wonderful gift. Thank you, my child. I will cherish it wholeheartedly, right down to my tummy. <laughs> Over here. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Frisk. That is very kind of you. You know how much I love to garden flowers. You are sensational. Would you like to be a uh, my valentine? P.S. Where the human not want to sing in front of the crowd? Because it was scary Haha, <laughs> good one kid. I'm proud of you. Sen, stop being a bad influence on the human! Huh? Looks like the kids finally meeting all my standards. Ah, uh, that's my line. For me! Wowie! This is the greatest day of my life! Hmm, what's this? You're giving me a car to express how great I am. At Grillby's, what order did the human pick for Papyrus? I take it back! This is the worst day of my life! I don't even like Grillby's! <laughs> oh, come on, brother. Don't be skulking now. Hmm? <laughs> yes! Uh, um, thank you. Oh my! Thank you, darling! This is perfect! This will definitely boost my ratings. How do I look? Fabulous. Now, I have something just for you to show my appreciation. What the heck are you wearing? Judging from the image, it must be from one of those friends of yours. You must be so proud. Being able to give and receive gifts from friends. 
I remember well how much they care about you. I remember... their feelings. So, why are you here this time? Do you pity me that I'll be left out of the circle? There's no need for that. I'm used to being alone by now. Besides, our feelings are no longer mutual. Because I am a flower again. But your determination to befriend me, to save me, will never end. Will it? Even though I had caused a lot of pain, I may not be able to keep up anymore. I may as well give up trying to push you away. You're giving that locket to me? Uh-huh. I remember. I remember how close I was to Korra. How we matched lockets. And then, I mistook you for Kara. I don't even understand why. Your looks, your attitude, you're nothing like Kara. The only resemblance you held was your taste in striped clothing. And possibly your short hair. Maybe I'm the idiot. Believing that you were Kara. There's no way that Kara would come back. But maybe I could start anew. I may not have a soul now, but I can remember how I felt having a friend back then. Before I became this. I can remember and try to hold on. Like you do. Y you You call me off guard! Don't ever do that again. <laughs>